Hello everyone, welcome to Shadow of Judgment. I'm sorry I missed yesterday. I forgot it was Friday. That's because I kept saying yesterday that tomorrow is my Friday, and that's probably why I forgot, because like I'm working an extra day. Technically, I would have been off after yesterday, but I'm working an extra day just to switch somebody. I'm going to have to check tomorrow, like, who the winners are for the bonus readings. Anyway, let's see what sign we're reading for now. We already did Earth. We are, I said we already did Earth. Okay, you're definitely right or wait. You guys are just, literally just do the exact same shit. So at least I don't feel bad. Air! You might be a flub of flub. <laughs> um... You might be riding in to fight something that you technically weren't prepared for and it catches you off guard and you don't hit your mark. Like the sword should be going into the dude, but it doesn't touch him. Right? Right. Air signs! Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Check your charts. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game. Shit won't believe la 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 la. I can't talk today, I'm sorry. Shit won't work if you don't believe in it too much. Or maybe it will and it'll surprise you. Just boop your nose and away it goes. Right? Right. Let's see. This is also for today, which is the 14th to the 20th, which is next Friday. I'll probably post these early in the morning because, like, I'll be working, um, I usually work in the evenings, so, and I don't get back home until 9, for some reason. Alright, Gemini, you're up first. You got someone here who acts like they're on your side and you're not entirely sure about it, and you're willing to walk away from the situation before it gets any more deeper in your pockets. You already feel like... Olga up here, like you're already broke and you're carrying your own shit. And I'll hear these people over here being like, hey, can you spare us some? And you're like, I'm poor just like you. Like, why are you asking me the help, right? Like, whatever you did have valuable was, uh, it almost feels like it wasn't salvaged or something. It's like you were at a bazaar packing your shit up and someone robbed you while you were packing your stuff. At least that's what it feels like. Um,. You might be happy and someone's trying to tug you back to get some of that happiness, too. Like, look at this little shit right here. Just pulling on your flag. Actual fuck, man. Let's see. Yeah, these people keep coming up and you're not even trying to hear them. Like, whether it's from stubbornness or not, I don't know. Maybe that's kind of an issue for you this week. It's like, um... Like, I don't like these people approaching. I feel like they're not exactly advisors or anything like that. It's like you're ready to find some shit out, and now here they come just telling you to lower your sword. You're not doing anything. Mm. Yeah, they want to catch up to your happiness before you do something drastic. Sword situation over here. Someone's shocked, but they shouldn't be. Da da da. Duh. All right, Gemini. Ooh, did you hear that? That was nice. Let's see what's going on with you. Hmm. Alright, Gemini, like, oh yeah, so there's someone trying to infiltrate your walls, trying to get close to you, trying to figure some shit out, figuring out that booty, figuring out that walk, figuring out the swagger, you know, like, they want to get to know you and you're looking at him like, who the fuck are you? Do I know you? Why are you holding one of my sticks, motherfucker? Well, we work for the same company. Y'all, we work for the same company. Who's Bob? I don't know, he works for the county? There is no Bob, you know, like, just fucking with people, you know. Like, does it like in like interrogating a person well before you get to know them, right? But it's like they're trying to tug on you to get to be like, hey, we can be happy together, and they're willing to have the door open for you, but for a limited time, they're getting ready to take off in this after this shindig, right? 
go live that happy lifestyle and enjoy all the fruits of their labors. Like the bird done floated away, so now like she's having fun in her garden, right? It's kind of and here, right here, like someone's packed up all their shit to go. But someone kind of loses their shit a little bit. Like they get all nasty, they get all mean. Like they're surprised that the people left when they did, and then it's just sitting there like, oh my god, I can't believe this. This totally happened. When like a high priestess looks like she isn't that shocked that it actually happened. She actually doesn't look surprised at all. She looks surprised at like what she saw, but it's like almost acting like you're surprised, but you really shouldn't be because it's one of those things where you already knew. You know, you could have had this, but now you gotta harvest and take what little bit you can. Not that he looks disappointed or anything like that, but it's like this person only took one pentacle out of the eight and left the rest. Which is crazy, because, like, there's the nine right here. Well, no, this is the seven. I can't count. My bad. Anyway, Olga up here. Um, she's walking steady. People are asking her for fundage. Every time she starts to get some information and get close, like, people seem to, like, come up and just, you know, dissuade them off from, like, trying to go for that truth. Trying to get that one pentacle they want from the garden, right? Taking the little bit instead of the whole. What's up with these wise men with the Page of Swords reverse? It's like you're at, like the Page of Swords, yeah, it could be an act of vengeance and stuff, but I feel like these people are trying to dissuade you from doing something too. And they do it with the truth, I feel like. Um, someone is crazy in their feelings, hardcore, boil your pet, your kid's animals just because she's upset, you know, mad and shit that nothing worked out. Because there was a third party situation that led to a breakup. When someone was definitely in love in the situation, possibly. Even though, like, one just isn't paid attention and the other one's just like, mm, okay, man. And the decision needed to be made. About a slow moving offer. Gemini, that's your shadow for this week. Seems like someone wants to get close to you. But I'm not sure if it's for the right reasons. So be very cautious. Alright. Libra, it's your turn for your shadow this week. My lovelies. Watch out for the bug. <laughs> that bait and switch, right? Like, watch out for something that might in come in like an infestation. Oh boy, if any of you watched my video last night, you'll understand what I was talking about. Man, I gotta fold clothes before I go to work. Ain't that a bitch? Mm. Mm -mm. But at least I got my fat cats right next to me stretching. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, sir. Alright, Libra. Let's see what's going on with you. Um, well, that's. Alright, guys. I like the enthusiasm, but going into the battle to the death, you know, like. You don't have to be all or nothing. That's. <laughs> Like, wow. That is, like, an interesting card, Libra. You are in that I will take everybody out with me if I have to. I will kill as many people as I have to as long as you are one of them kind of vibe, you know? It's just like, you're not playing. Like, you will literally, like, go in for to hurt anybody you can before you finally fall. That's a dangerous attitude to have, man. Yeah, it's like somebody's whispering shit in your ear in the form of a black cat. Like your little protector, this lizard, isn't doing it for you anymore. Could be a uh, fire sign that's influencing this, too. Leo Sagittarius. Ugh, someone's manipulation's got some items possessed going after them. That sword is aimed at this Queen of Wands. Like, it's aimed right at the back of her head, and she doesn't even see it. Mm. I don't know how comfortable I feel about this, Libra, so far, because this is like... Mm. That's... Animosity. 
<laughs> this feels like somebody from the reading last night. Are you guys dealing with a Leo? Because, like, I feel some of that from last night. I feel that animosity. A vitriol, if you will. Oh, my God. Possibly. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Hold up. I'm gonna land two more, and then we'll go into this Libra, because I'm, like, very intrigued. Jesus, fuck! Okay, Libra. <laughs> if you're dealing with the Leo, right, you need to watch the video from last night that's titled, This Queer Has Animosity, all caps, with fucking period marks in between instead of spaces. Watch that shit, because I feel like... That person's in here, especially with the black kitty. Okay. Someone's got an attitude where, like, it's all or nothing. Like, either I'm going to beat them all and I'm going to survive or I'll die. Either way, I have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Because they are tired of feeling like they have to fight over a monster night after night. That will not be vanquished. Like, imagine, like... Imagine, like, um... Oh, what would be a good example? Trying to quit smoking, right? You've tried, and you tried, and you always keep coming back to it. Like, it's like you keep slaying this beast over and over again. You can't let it go over and over again. You are the person you're dealing with, Libra. And that's left somebody really bitter and pouring out their cups into the ocean, just being like, you know what, I don't even want to drink this shit no more. It tastes like him or her. A fucking perfume or cologne. Whatever it is. Their stinky box. I don't care. I don't want it anymore, you know? It's, it's like... Mm. Like, some magician right here has a sword pointed right at this Queen of Wands head, which troubles me. And it's like, she's the one that's coming up, bothering someone while they're trying to rest. Trying to get back, I feel like, in their good graces or get past their garb, but the person's still looking at him like, who the fuck are you? Like, you're covered in blood and shit, dude. Like, we're, like I don't look like that, and I'm injured, and you look fine. Where did you come from? Like, it's like somebody, like, masquerading like they're actually a soldier. But it's also kind of like, who are you? You know? This dude hasn't moved at all. This guy just came in and picked up a wand. You know? Um, but this magician right here as well. The sword aimed at the Queen of Wands' head. But then, like, a bunch of wise men came up to, like, dissuade somebody from, like, you know, probably doing something very drastic. So now the person's released their sword, and now is staying blindfolded to what's going on, or there's somebody back here who has no idea that this battle is even going on. And there's somebody drowning while another person's turning their back to it. Like, you know, it's too late to save you. And it looks like it could be this dude or this guy. It could be either or of them. So take your pick, Libra. But someone's leaving somebody to drown. Just let those cups go. Like, you know, fuck it. What is this uh, monster you have to keep slaying, Libra? Because I think that's, like, the problem right here. Could also be, like, this king of cups who just doesn't give a fuck, right? Yeah, probably an enemy in your house. Probably acting like a fucking victor or something when there really isn't. There's that burden. Yeah, so you have an enemy in your house or someone who's against you. Who's nothing but a fucking burden. It could be a water sign, right? And Yeah. <laughs> yeah? They got you feeling like you can't get over it either. Hmm. No action being taken, though. Because none of the options look very good, Libra. Ah, oh, okay. That's why these... Okay. This dragon you're trying to slay, or whatever this monster is, this is somebody you've dealt with before. They've either made you feel like you've lost, or that they're just your straight-up enemy. And that's created a burden in you that you just can't get over at all. And it also feels like you can't move forward, or there's a fire sign right here who's just not doing anything, and it looks like a really shitty option for you, or just all around just terrible. And that's what's got you in this page of swords energy, and that's why people are probably coming up just being like, hey, um, put down the gun, cutthroat, you know? Like, there's no reason to, like, lose your shit. Like, bide your time. 
I feel like is one of those things, Libra. Which your week's kind of intense. But you always have, like, really intense weeks. It's like days of her lives all the time. No offense, because at least that's more interesting than mine. Like, you know, like, I'm, like, a lot of variety with, like, twice as much monotony. But still, like, mmm. That's your week, Libra. Careful who you let in, I have to say. Because, like, it looks, like, better yet, just, like... Be really careful with who you talk to in general. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. There we go. These cards are, like, brand new, so it's absolutely, like, terribly hard to, like, get them off of this board, because they don't bend. But I'm just whining. As per usual. Speaking of per usual, Aquarius, it's your turn. So, let's see what's going on with your shadow. For this week, did I guys tell you it was for, like, the 14th to the 20th? Well, now you know. And knowing half the battles is what works, according to the G.I. Jim. Alright, Aquarius, let's see what's going on with your week. Queen of Pentacles, somebody might be obsessed with what they can get. Look at them staring at their face with that shiny shit. Let's be like, this is Anna. Could be a Capricorn. Also Virgo or Taurus, right? And someone's got secrets. They're sacrificing those secrets to their crab god. Um, getting some dogs, like, barking at them and shit. Just being like, you do not belong here. Someone's been looking for secrets. About a magician. Once again, he's aiming his sword at somebody. He has no good intentions as far as I'm concerned. Um, lovers reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, Queen of Wands reverse. Aquarius. Interesting, interesting. Yours is almost like, uh, who am I thinking of? I'm not sure. I know who I'm talking about. Boop. Uh, yeah, I can do one more. I'm allowed to do one more. Okay, Aquarius. Sorry yours was so quick. I was just looking at it really quick. Um. This Queen of Pentacles was way too busy looking at her pentacles to notice her rabbit ran away and then the lovers were gone. Like, the, like rabbits are quick, too. Like, they'll go if you aren't paying attention to them. So this thing just booked it while she was too busy paying attention to her, uh, pentacle and then ran off out of the lovers. Like, something was turned down, I feel like, almost. Like, they were supposed to share an apple, but the person was like, I don't want the apple. So now someone's sitting here and waiting while two people, like go back and forth between each other. The devil's here. Definitely Capricorn could be involved, but it's like someone resisted temptation to, like, indulge in the dark side and have them watch the spectacle. You know. Um, there was a magician up here. Like, someone definitely got out of a negative relationship of some sort. Like, this magician has arrows shoot, like, his sword aimed right at this chick. He's coming for a secrets. And she's coming for the secrets because what she w took from, like, whatever this garden or what was developed um, was, like, some nasty, fruity shit, and they know that there's better. And it's just like, God damn it, I want my money back. I'm willing to go to jail to get my money back for this melon. You know, one of those things, right? Meanwhile, this magician, who's in his negative side, right? He's got a sword aimed over here. And it's like, he's the influence on this queen of wands to stay in a, uh... In a, uh, hung-up position. And they're just feeding him whatever to keep them in that hung-up position. Like, I'll take care of you, but this magician is really influencing this queen of wands right here. Causing everybody to, um, negate the source that fills their cup and not be able to give it out, right? It's like somebody sees what's going on and that's why they're cutting out this relationship and not giving the cup out, you know? Let's see. What 
But what's with this double relationship that's no longer? Who, what is the resistance to this? It's a burden. Nothing happens. Like, nothing changes. Well, you know, like I just said, like, Capricorns are pretty boring creatures, man. Like, that's, but I understand. Uh, it's not fulfilling somebody in the way that they thought it would. When it, in regards to this relationship, I feel like they love the person, but it's like, nah, man. I'm not getting, yeah, I'm not getting what I need, and someone acts like a dick. Someone acts like a dick. This is not fulfilling in the slightest, you know? But, air signs, that's your shadow for this week. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, you can like, share, and subscribe. Up to you. No pressure, of course. I would greatly appreciate it, though. I'm sure you would, too. Because then you get to listen to the crazies that come out my mouth and find it to be an interesting shit show. But I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.